We've been all over the country in the most blazing heat. And of course, I've just carried on wearing this in Phoenix, Arizona. It's possibly an act of insanity, but you know, I just can't do casual. I just can't, you know, I'll leave that to professionals. When I, when I don't want to be seen, obviously, I do wear some quite boring things. They've all got a bit of something weird about them that I wouldn't get away with it in Nebraska. You know, sort of thing. He's not from around here. And one of the things I also think about us in America right now, you know, is uh, thank you so much for coming to see us. I know it's uh, tough times for everyone, you know. So really, really, really appreciate the fact that we can come here and bring this massive band, you know, all these people to America and do this kind of tour. And thank you so much for the love, you know. Really, I mean, we all feel that way, you know. We get to the end of the tour, and like, let's do more, let's do more. We've been out for about four weeks, five weeks in America, and to eight weeks, even me, I'm skating it down, it's been so good. Anyway, um, when I was a teenager, one of the people that I worshipped was David Bowie, obviously. And, uh, you know, that was the beginning of me sort of going, oh, oh, oh. I'm still doing that as it goes. Um, but one of the people that um, Bowie loved was a singer called Lulu. And uh, he did a version of this song, and a lot of people think this song is a Nirvana song, you know, The Man Who Sold the World. But it's actually a David Bowie song from one of his very early albums. And you know, it's such a beautiful song, I was sure you all know the words, right? To the man who sold the world. That's a cute kid.